Let's talk about the corpse flower in bloom. We showed you live pictures yesterday, first at four, 24 hours later. Here's what it looks like right now. We've been streaming this signal for 10 days. Thousands of you have taken a peek online. Paula Tutman shows us how the blooming flower is making a stink in Dexter that even some big birds seem to notice. Even on her way out, because she has bloomed, she's hit her peak, she's now closing and she's starting to disintegrate, really before our very eyes. But it, it's incredible how when people see her and, and smell her, they almost speak about her in terms of poetry. We've been watching her for more than a week, nicknamed Corpsey by the family who raised her. Our live stream captures one of nature's most spectacular feats in a time lapse. Named the corpse flower because of its native island of Sumatra when it blooms, which is rare, its pollinators are carrion bugs, like flies and beetles, that eat rotting flesh. And so it behaves and smells like a dying corpse to get those pollinators to cooperate. What do you see? What's it look like? Uh, this cone in the center swells out at the bottom. Kevin and Barbie Hauser opened their home conservatory to watch this amazing feat of nature, and it did not disappoint. Just after noon Monday, it began to open. We were outside. The buzzers are circling. And then a bunch of turkey vultures came just swarming out there. It was really cool. It kind of ramped up to this just unbearable, you know, you were describing it as 10 deer piled up. It was worse than that. 75-year-old Martha Freelander, a former biology teacher, climbed a ladder to peer inside. And the purple on the petals is just beautiful. It looks like deep wine. For those lucky enough, they got to see for themselves how Mother Nature tricks whom and what she needs to in order to procreate. There was a red fluid, almost like wine color and consistency, dripping down into the uh, in, into sort of this flower pot here. And it was like blood. It was so you know. It's just amazing to think that this this um, this plant tricked. <laughs> You know, not just the the, uh, the dumb insects, but also you know the birds of prey and every and, and us into thinking that something had died in here. But it is her spectacular size and beauty that is equally as curious, and yes, stunning. It's just uh, you know life is uh, cruel and vicious, right? And so this plant's figured out a way to uh, survive in that world. And really, by this time tomorrow, all of this will be gone, like it was never even there. Mother Nature, at her finest and most unusual. In Dexter, Paula Tutman, Local 4. So interesting. All right, thanks, Paula. Here is one more look at that flower. Paula tells us the bloom has even captured the attention of scientists around the country. Tonight at 530, Paula shows us the lessons learned from this amazing natural wonder.